So it's my first time using Anchor Toaster Sorex. So it's going to be in a lot of flops. And I'm very curious because I'm getting ready to prepare something for tonight. And I'm just wondering because everything I bought from, uh, from Whole Foods and I'm buying organic and there is no nitride or radiation background numbers. So I'm I'm choosing a trot tester. It's supposed to be pretty easy. Um, I have cabbage, I have onion bulb, so I will start from there. Okay. This is self explanatory. So I'll wait for a couple of seconds. Take my wonderful <coughs> organic onion. And wait until it measures. Okay, that's nice. That's the first choice and significant axis of standard. Wonderful. Let's try cabbage. Okay, cabbage. I suppose press a K. <clears throat> This is normal, so we're good on cabbage. Let's try potato. They're certified USD organic. I forgot to choose. Potatoes. The only thing is annoying is a noise. Okay. Okay, it's normal. That's a good news. And I have a meat. So we we're choosing meat. Oops, I think I went to oh, it's here. Fresh meat. Okay. I have my fresh, ninety fat, ninety five percent fat free, grass fed beef, and I am pressing OK. Oops, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. So we need to start everything over. It's normal. That's good. <laughs> So, I'm getting fresh meat, pressing OK. OK. Stick. Now I'm sticking and pressing OK. Insignificant excess of standard. OK, so I have... <laughs> Onion with significant, meat with insignificant, and cabbage normal, potato normal, and I'm just wondering what I'm going to cook tonight. <laughs> so guys, I hope you find this thing useful, and I think I'm going to carry it in my purse all the time, so I know at the store what kind of products to buy, and which ones just keep. Okay, bye-bye.